Yes, because we've got the ability with GO 5.1 block lookhead to specify with Q parameters either speed in roughing yep. or quality in finishing. We've visited the Dali stand at Tim Toss 2023 and we're going to chat with Richard. Now, Richard, if they don't, if people don't know who you are, where are you from? Ward High Tech in Sheffield. I'll just clarify, up in Sheffield. But if you've got any questions, obviously get in contact with the guys. Now, this machine here is new to the road. It'll be new to the UK soon. So it's a DMH 500. 500. It's sort of similar, but different to other machines in, the, yes. in this range. So tell me more about it. Okay, this machine is linear guideways on all axes and it's 40 meters rapid traverse. Okay, because a lot of the other machines are box guideways to give you that rigidity, yeah. but they've- Slower, 24 meters on the box guideway yeah. machines. So the, the linear guideways give it that speed, that agility. Yes, yeah. And also there's a, this machine's got a lot of flexible options in as much we can have BT40 or BBT40, 12,000 RPM, or we can have 6,000 RPM with BBT50. Okay, so some big tooling, some big cuts yeah, if required. Yeah, that's right. And we've got tool changers, 40 as standard, 60 tool option. Yep, I've already been round about, counted 60 there. Okay, good luck. Although they're quite enough to number them all. But anyway, so you got to BBT50, so it's a big tooling now. Yeah, big tool, which we've also got the Fanuc OIMF Plus. So we've got a good standard of block lookhead, up to 400 blocks lookhead, which again helps with the quality and fine finishing of the part. Okay, but I, a lot of people obviously use Fanuc, but are there other options if required? Yes, Dali have developed their own software options. So we've got things like adaptive feed rate so that the machine if it's a light cut like a casting it will speed up automatically improve the cycle if the material is very hard it will slow the feed rate down because i noticed that on here at the moment on the, it's, it's, it's fast at the moment yes because we've got the ability with geo 5.1 block lookhead to specify with q parameters either speed in roughing yep. or quality in finishing so bigger cuts or the finer cuts just to make it yeah super cut really we can tune the requirement of the part and program in perfect harmony. Okay, now in there you've got a big envelope, so big components, but yes. what we want is to keep this machine running. That's so right, twin yeah. pallet option? Twin pallet option, so we can load and unload with the pallet outside the front of the machine. We can rotate the pallet for loading purposes. And we've got also good safety features, pallet recognition, so some days, some, some days, some of these engineers do have an off day. We, you know, we're all human. We do make mistakes yeah. occasionally. So you're making sure everybody's safe when That's they're using right. this type of so, machine. So the, the program is assigned to the pallet. So if somebody by mistake gets the pallet sequencing wrong, it automatically has to run with the right program. All right. So you're not machining the wrong material, the wrong shape and everything like that. So you're not scrapping. Yes, exactly. Not, to, not, not scrapping anything. Yeah. Music, to, music to my ears, although no one will let me run a machine. Nice. <laughs> the Z-axis actually moves rather than the spin will come into the component. What's Correct. the benefit of that? The benefit of that is that it gives an enhancement when we're pallet changing. If we can pallet change and get the part through the door, we can then move the Z-axis towards the spindle and it'll allow us to rotate a bigger part so it's a part that normally would be too big for the machine, but we can machine it. Okay, so as long as you've got limitations, can you get it through the door? If you get it through the door, yes. nice and simple. Exactly, Colin. And I'm thinking these pallets, your twin pallets, but you've got your pyramids, your tombstones, your cubes. Yeah. So big components or lots of small yes. components. And also we've got safety in there of pallet recognition to the program. Yep. So we tie in the program to the pallet. So if somebody runs it out of sequence, we can't do incorrect machining. They wouldn't do that, would they? Maybe not. <laughs> but you've got those, those, those safety features yes. in place just yes. in case. Exactly. So, because you'd be cutting some ex well, expensive material, tricky materials, in canals, yes. everything like that. Yeah. We've got a really wide range of cutting options. Again, it's a good, solid, strong cutting machine. No more than you expect from Dali and the guys supplying that. Richard from Ward High Tech Ward up in Sheffield. Ward High Tech in Sheffield. Give Excellent. us a call. Thank you very much.